hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to have you here so for today's tutorial we'll be learning how to cut and sew a half cycle skirt and this is the fabric that we'll be using so let's move over to the tutorial but first i would like to let us know the measurement we'll be using the measurement we need to make our half cycle pencil skirt half cycle sorry half cycle skirt half cycle skirt the measurement we will need is we need our waist <coughs> excuse me and waist i'm using is 29 and then we need the length of the skirt and the length i'm using is 27 and our skirt is going to have a zipper at the back so let me just draw a rough sketch this tells us that our skirt is going to have a band. I hope you can see that. Our skirt is going to have a band. The that the circumference of our waist is 29 and the length of the skirt is 20 27. So what I'm going to do now is for the waist, since our, our skirt is going to have a zipper, I'm going to add 29 plus 2 inch for the zip allowance, which is going to give me 31. 31. And then I'll go ahead and divide uh, my waist circumference width by 3.142. I already have a detailed to, um, a detailed video on how we came about this. So I'm going to put the link on the description box for you to go and watch it if you don't understand. So that's that take note that um a half cycle skirt is the same thing as a 180 flay that's on that video so that is it so the one divided by 3.142 is going to give us 9.866 so we can just approximately make it 9.87 then the next is the length length since our skirt is going to have a band and i want the band to be two inch i'm going to minus 27 um, I'm going to minus 2, that's our band will be 2 in, so 27 minus 2, 27 minus 2 is going to give us 25, 25, but this 25 I'm going to add one and a half inch, that's I'm going to use half inch to join the flay to the band and then I'll, I'm going to use one inch to hem the skate, so I will have um, let's say 26 and a half. 26 and a half so now what i'm going to do is to know the amount of fabric i need to cut out to make my skirt what i'm going to do is to add this and this is to add this and this so when i add 26 and a half 26 and a half is the same as 26.5 plus 9.87 it's going to give me um it's going to give me 36 point 37 so what we need is just let's say this is our fabric the length we need is 36 and then here the width that we need is um 36.37 i'll just make it approximately 37 so what we need here is 37 and then the width that we need is 37 times 2 because it's going to be on a fold like this 37 by two so that is that so that is that so what we need when we say okay 37 times 2 is going to give us um um 74 74 74 but we know that 74 inch is equivalent to two yards two yards that's two yards two inch two yards two inch so what we need to cut out from our fabric is just two yards this is why i wrote a start for yards and this is two inch so that's what just we need need to cut out from our fabric so we just need two yards two inch to cut to make our half cycle skirt i hope you understand that please if you don't understand go to that video and watch i explain in detail how you can calculate the exact amount of fabric you need to make 
any kind of flay whether it's half cycle flay full cycle um, flay 720 flay uh, and so on and so forth so let's move over to the cotton so like I said, the total um, fabric I cut out to make the skirt is 34, uh, 74 inches, which is equivalent to 2 yards, 2 inches, 2 yards, 2 inches. So what I'll do is just to mark the... Mark 37 inches. Of course, you know how we came about the 37 inches from our calculation. So I'll mark it all round. From here to here, it's 37. So I'm going to mark it round. Let me turn it here so that you see it properly. And then I'll continue marking. 37. So as you can see, I've cut it out. So the next thing to do is to take our skate radius. And our skate radius is 9.87. 9.87. So I will mark 9.87 round. So, this is how it looks. 180 flay or half cycle skirt. You see it? This is how it looks. This is how it looks. Hmm? So, the next thing, this, you know, this is the opening and this is where our zipper will be. So, the next thing is to cut the band. Um, before I continue, please, I want to explain something. Remember that when I was cutting my flay, I folded it like this. And now, um, took the measurements. Like, I now calculated around it. But you can also decide to, you know, fold it like this. Fold it again. You see it? Fold it again. It's still the same thing. You mark whatever your um inches is and cut so that that you can decide to leave it this way then you know you mark and cut it round or you fold it here here this one is more easier it's much more easier you see it but they are all the same thing i hope you understand so let's continue so i've Gone ahead to cut my band. What I did was just to unfold. I cut out two and a half. I'm going to use half inch to join the band to the flare. And also the my waist. My waist is 29 plus two inch for the C, for the zip allowance, which is 31. So that's that. So, what, so as you can see, we have our band and we have our flare. Take note that the band is two inch. After sewing, it's going to be two inch. So and I will attach it to the flare. I'll attach it to the flare. So after that, we'll have something like this. Something like this. Let me go to the sewing machine and then sew it. I'm going to show you how it looks. 
So here is our half cycle skirts. Half cycle skirts. I went ahead to join the flare to the band. You can see this is the back side where we have our zip. You can see the way I attach the zip. And then this is the front side. You can see how beautiful it looks. You can see how beautiful it looks. So that's that. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, click on subscribe. Also, hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I make a new upload. So, like, come your way with another interesting tutorial. I do have a lovely, lovely day. Bye bye.